What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles with YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday, and today's winner was a deck that has been suggested for a really long time, and finally it gained enough votes to actually win Fan Friday. And that is Cradili, Nidal King, Nidal Queen, and Talonflame. Yes, that was what they suggested. Talonflame, Cradili, Nidal King, and Nidal Queen. And, uh, oh my goodness. Like, I'd be fine if, like, I'd actually be okay if Talonflame wasn't in this deck. Like, it'd be a little bit better. Um, <laughs> because once you, I don't know, you, let me go over the deck first and then we'll talk about its problems. So, the Pokemon you're going to kind of start with is Talonflame. It has Gill Wings. Um, if you start with in your hand, you can put it as your act Pokemon, and it has the attack Arrow Blitz, 40, search deck for three cards, and put them into your hand. You know, we know this card seems the Greninja, it's really good. I uh, at 3-3 three, three, Cordilli line. So Cordilli has the attack Life Plosion. For each energy attached to this Pokemon, search your deck for a stage 2 Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck afterwards. This sounds great. This is a fantastic attack. If you have a ton of energies on Cordelia, you can get a bunch of a stage 2 Pokemon out and be good to go. Now, this is easier said than done, because first of all, you have to get a Cordelia, and the way you get Cordelia is by using Lilip. And uh, Lilip is hard to get out because he is a fossil restored Pokemon. So, it has the ability pre extort Call, which makes it a little bit doable to, like, actually get Lily Bout turn 1. Once during the turn, before you attack, and this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put this Pokemon on the bottom of your deck. And then with the Lily Root Fossil, you can look at the bottom 7 cards of your deck. If you found a Lily in there, you can put it onto your bench and shove the other cards back into your deck. Obviously, this combos well. You can get Lily up ASAP. The problem is, you have to get Lily, da Lily down with an energy, and the next turn put a DC on the, the Cordilli, and the next turn put another DC. Because if you only have 3 energies, you're only searching for 3 stage 2 Pokemon. He only has 120 HP, he's gonna get knocked out so, like, really quickly, like, it doesn't even matter. And that's where this downfall is. If Cordilli had more HP, then maybe it'll be okay. If, I don't know, like, there's gotta be some way to make Life Potion a better attacker, like, when you have a Grass Energy and a DC, you only get three Pokemon, which isn't very strong because, like, it'd be different if the deck suggestion was different, but it's not different, and instead, the deck suggestion is Nidoking, Nidoqueen. Alright, so Nidoking says, your Nidoking's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's act, act Pokemon before applying a weakness and resistance, and of course, we're attacking with Nidoqueen. It has the Barrage trait, so you can attack twice during a turn. And what we're going to try to use here is Poison Jab. Poison Jab does 30. Uh, times by 2 is 60. But Nidoqueen plus a Nidoking is 50. Plus another one 70. Plus another one is 90. And uh, with 3 Nidokings and a Nidoqueen, you can start taking knockouts. But remember, Cradilly only gets as many Pokemon down as you have energies. So for Life Explosion, you need at least 4. Five energies to even like have a remote chance of even doing something with this deck and that's what makes this deck so hard and like not very good and you need five energies on a Cradilli and oh my goodness and of course you have to play at least one boat based Pokemon and we're playing Jolteon it has free treat and you can use flash ray since we are playing rain liturgies and DCEs and so that's going to be our lineup oh man it's there's not even shamans in here. We can't fish shamans in the deck. It's, it's just it's just almost impossible. We could cut down less town flames, sure, but then we, we might not start it. Um, we might start with a shaman instead, which is terrible. So, like, all in all, the deck's not looking hot from the start, but it does have an interesting, like, really cool concept idea. I just wish we were getting a different stage 2 Pokemon instead of Nidoking and Nidoqueen, because, obviously, I mean, they, they combo well together, kind of. Not really. It's weird. I don't know. It's... Oh, man. It's such a bad deck. Like, it, on paper, it seems really, really cool and really good and really great. Um, man. But 3 Compressor, so that way you can discard Lilip's turn 1 and get it out ASAP. 1 Computer Search Consistency. 1 Special Charge and shuffle 2 Special Energies back into your deck. What we really need is these 4 Rainbow Energies, so that way we can use Nidoqueen's Poison Jab. It only needs 1 Figure and 1 uh, Psychic Energy. 3 Trainers level 4 Ultima 4 VS Seeker. Three Skyfield. Um, Skyfield maybe not be too necessary, but um, if you're looking for five Pokemon, you need and you have someone on your bench. Well, then you can't get five out anymore. Because usually, what you want to try to do 
is get three Nita Kings and two Nita Queens, and you're good to go. Um, but even then, you only have two Nita Kings Queens attacking, and they only have 140 HP, and they're gonna get knocked out so quick nowadays. Uh, but one Light Sinner, three in, four Sycamore. We literally don't have any space in this deck. We have 19 Pokemon. It's just not good. All right, so we play three Silver Angle, which might be the one card I will probably cut if I do. For some reason, decide to play this deck again. Um, because with Poison Devil, I guess you do, th you do 30, uh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then uh, plus 30 is 110 times 2 is 220, which is what I was trying to go for. Because, like, fighting Fear Bolt stuff and, you know, like, EXs to knock them out. Um, because Silver Angle lets you do 30 more damage to your opponent's active EX Pokemon, which is fantastic. But it has to be an EX, and you have to find this card, and this card, and this card, and this card to even make it work. Uh, four DCE, so we could try to get as many out with Life Plosion and four Rainbow Energies. Now, if you decide you don't want to play Jolteon, you want to play something else, what you could play is Blend Energy. Um, but the problem with Blend is there's no Lightning, so you can't use Jolteon. At least with this Blend Energy, you have a Slacking and Grass at the same time. So you can use that for Gadili and Nidoqueen, um, but then you can't attack with Jolteon. And sometimes Jolteon could just win you games if you just have, like, you're just playing against a, like a basic deck, only nothing else. But there we go. Uh, there's the Nita Queen, Cordelia, Nita King, Jolteon, Talonflame deck. Like, I, I don't even know. You'll see what happens in the videos. I promise, guys. I do apologize. It's not very... It's it's bad. It's real bad. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. All right, so when it gets BH619 playing a Lightning, Water, Colors, and a Fire deck. Now, I I don't know what it is on top of my head, but, I mean, whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get this. All right, so we'll get a mulligan of press done. I mean, this is going to happen a couple times. Um, hopefully, you have an old Fall Press Lee Leap in your hand. That would be really cool to get off. Um, and then find a Lee Leap Fossil, whatever it's called. I already forgot what the fossil's called. All right, so we start Town of Flame. Okay, so we're going to put Town of Flame, obviously, in the front. Um, definitely the better one to have as of right now. And uh, let's see what our opponent is playing. Now we could, you know, chicken out, put Jolteon down, and just go for some Flash Ray and maybe go that way if they only play basic Pokemon. But I really don't want to go that route. Okay, but right now we have a Battle Presser. Uh, we could put some Lilies in there. We have Double Trainer's Mill. Hope we find a Sycamore and or an N. And let's see, who do they put in the Axe Bond? They put a, okay, so it's a... Rayquaza deck. All right, so we are going to Compressor. We are going to discard a Lilip, Lilip, and an N. Okay. We will use. We got a turn one Lilip, which is pretty cool. So we'll prehistoric star, prehistoric call. Put that at the bottom of our deck. I uh, use the Lilip Fossil. Get it out. All right, and there we go. That was pretty easy. <laughs> we'll trade near Look at the top four cards of our deck. Uh, we'll grab an Ultra Ball and not play it right now. I'm just trying to thin our deck down. Uh, Ultra Ball, I mean, Trainers Mill again. And this is the problem we're going to have right now. We're going to just pass. I mean, no energy or anything. So, press done. I mean, we could Ultra Ball for Shaman, but uh, we don't play any Shamans. So we're trying to, you know, play a little smarter, play a little different. Um, but I wish I had an energy, so at least next turn I can maybe get down three Pokemon. There's an Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard two cards from his hand, and let's see. Uh, probably some Lightning Energies and some other stuff like that. Now, the bad thing against Rayquaza is it does one-chop our Nita Queen. It does a ton of damage fairly easily. And there's a, Okay, so Reiku, it eels the deck, which is a little bit better. Nita Queen can't survive those pretty easily. We see a Tanamo, Tanamo, and a Ray, uh, Rayquaza. Uh, trainer's Mill, look at tough cards of their deck, not going to get anything, and there's a Jirachi, going to use Stellar Guidance, probably searching for a Sycamore, to, uh, yeah, get a Sycamore, okay, alright, so they receive a Sycamore, discard in their hand, oh, okay, discards a VS Seeker, getting seven new cards, now the Jirachi coming down is really nice for us, we can easily knock that out later on, uh, but we do play Skyfield, which gives him the opportunity to discard his Drachi later on. And a pass on Archer, we find a DCE. Okay, so put down Cordelia. And I think right now I'm just going to go for Arrow Blitz for 40 to knock out the Tanamo, which makes it where he can't attack next turn. And with this, I'm going to grab a Rainbow Energy, 
Ooh, that's not good. All right, we'll grab a rainbow energy and an N. Okay. So we'll take a price card, go down to five. Uh, we find a uh, another fossil, which is great. We can get another one to play if we want to. I don't know if we really need to. So kill to come up to the act spot. There is a eel coming down, and he cannot attack with his Reiki right now. Um, thanks, because he he probably doesn't play Max Luxor. He's really heavily uh, reliant on Dynamotors, which we see right there. Putting a Light Energy on that Reiku. All right, but next one, we can put a Rainbow Energy on the uh, Gradilli and go for another Arrow Blitz. If we want, yeah, Arrow Blitz seems fine. Uh, there's an Ultra Blitz. It's going to be Electric and a Toll Scrapper. Okay, getting something. I don't know what he grabbed there. Another Tynamo. Okay, that will come down. A VS Seeker for Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Now, hopefully, we top like a license and we can bring up this Tynamo, take another knockout. That would be really nice, but, I mean, will it happen? Probably not. Um, very unlikely. And like I said, the whole time we could go for the Jolteon out. We can put Jolteon out and go crazy that way. So, own our turn, we find a Nidok King. All right. So, I, I think I am going to go for a Lily just uh then our deck down put that on the bottom of our deck we'll use the lily fossil to put that down we will rainbow energy this guy and we will go for an arrow blitz for 40 and with this we are to grab a dce and I don't know, probably a Talon Flame. We'll just discard the Talon Flame next turn, okay? So, all to our opponents are going to draw a card, okay? Hmm. All right, so a DC is active. They can uh, attack this turn, okay? Um, yeah, they, they, they can totally attack this turn. So, Dynamo, they're going to put a Lightning on the Ayurid Quaza, okay? Um, next turn, we can use a Life Plosion, which will only get us three, though. Hmm, that's not good. It's a compressor, because with the three, we can grab Nidoqueen Queen and two Nidoqueens, Kings, but, I mean, we have to find more outside of that. Uh, man, I, I, this deck's not, this is very shaky. All right, so Maxi's coming out. Okay, so place Maxi. So there's a Fear Belt going to the other Reiku, okay. We see a treat to the Reiku, and we'll see a Thunderlance for a knockout going down to four by Price Guards. All right, there we see Thunderlance for the Doggot going out of five prize cards. Now, I think what I'm going to do here is sell him the Lilip. Uh, put a DC in the Cordelia and N. All right, so we'll yeah, put this here. We'll Ultra Ball uh, discard one and two to grab another Cordelia. Okay. We'll put that on the active. Put down Jolteon and N. Yeah, we'll N. That's fine. Okay. We don't find another in. I mean, I'm trying to look for another DC for next turn. All right. So right now, we'll pass on to our opponent's turn. He can knock us out with a straight-up Thunderlance. It does 120. We just got to hope he doesn't have a Lysander. <sighs> All right. So it does. You've got a Lysander. There's a Flowstone going out to Keldeo. Give it a free retreat. There's a Lightning to the Reku. And a Thunderlance, which is great for us. Alright, so he does 120. Going down to four prize cards. I'm going to send the Jolteon and via Seeker Fort in. And hope. I mean, we could just sick them all right now. And there's a Rainbow Energy, so no, we can't do that. Um, We do have a special charge in our deck. Yeah, let's just sick them all. Discard our hand, draw seven cards. Digging for a DC. And we find one. And we find a Skyfall as well. So put a DC on this guy. We are a compressor to discard three cards out of our deck. Like, we don't need the Lilith Fossil anymore. Um, we don't need the Ultra Balls as well. Okay. We will compressor again. And with this, we'll discard a Lysander. And that's pretty much it. Everything else seems pretty much useful. We will put down Skyfield. <clears throat> We will retreat into the little, uh, Cordelia, and we'll go for a life explosion. All right, and with this, we'll grab one, two, three, four, five. Seems pretty good. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. We did it. We did it. All right, so on our opponents are going to draw a card. And, I mean, we got the, we got the Nidal Queens out. We got some Nidal Kings online. We're doing 20, 40, 60. Uh, 70, 90, uh, minus 20. I mean, we could take a knockout next turn, but there's a side slope with a DCE coming down. Mm, that is somewhat scary. So there's a rough seas coming down. We get to bump a Pokemon, and I'm going to bump... 
Unfortunately, the uh, the Jolteon. Yep, we had to discard the Jolteon. Okay. The Jirachi being discarded. That's what I was talking about earlier. You know, you could bump our stadium. There's a rough seas heal in that uh, Keldeo. And hopefully, we top deck a supporter card. So, Thunder Lights for 120. Okay. So, oh, no, my turn. We send up the Nidal Queen. Do we top deck a supporter card? Give me a. Okay, there, that's not what we need. All right, so Silver Bring with this guy. We'll pass. This is not good, guys. All right, so one, tw he can't knock 23. Yeah, he can. He actually can't knock us out. But there's a lightning going to the bench. Reiku. We'll see a Thunder Lance. Not knocking us out. Do 120. On our turn. We find a Sycamore. All right, so play the Sycamore. Discard your hand. Draw seven new cards. And oh, we don't find a way to attack. This is going to be bad because now I'm uh, pretty sure we lose the game. Um... All right, so we're going to train as well, hoping to hit a computer search, and no, there's, oh, everything we need is right there. I mean, there's the two rainbow energies. Okay, so put a, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, press, done. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so he can, he can, uh, he can put a lightning on this guy and uh, pretty much be a-okay. We'll take a knockout. Going down to two, okay. Um, and then he can quake a punch to this guy, but hit the license and bring the rake, take a knockout there, going down to three, and then take a knock on a side stone. It's not looking really good for us right now. Mm. Alright, 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 we got this guys. We got this guys. Come on. Just gotta believe we can win this. Um you get Thunder Lance right now, knock us out. There's a trainer's mail. If he hits a compressor here to discard um some energies, we pretty much lose this game. Because what he could do is uh, dynamo to this guy in the next turn and put another energy on the uh, Reiku and uh, unfortunately win the game. All right, so he doesn't discard a lightning, which is great for us. I mean, he has five in play. He should have more left. And there's a Thunder Lance for the knockout and going down to two prize cards. All righty. So, um, yeah, we're going to send in the Nidal Queen and him down to two and hopefully it sticks. I mean, that is... The big thing. We gotta hope it insects. He does have Keldeo, so you can rush and retreat. So let's go Nita Queen. Let's get this party started. Come on, Rainbow. And there's a computer search. For computer search gets to discard one and two. We'll grab a Rainbow Energy. Okay. Rainbow Energy, this guy, and we will end putting our opponent down to two cards. Oh, you're gonna deck out. Oh, we're so close to decking out, actually. That is not good. Alright, so we will uh poison jam. Okay. There's 70. We will poison jab again. Which doesn't even knock it out. Oh my goodness. I just realized that. Cause of re cause of the, the shining body. Yeah, this matchup is really bad. This is a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So first sick and working on discard. I mean, we pretty much lose this game. I mean, I don't see how this deck can win games. Like, you have to get a lot of energy with Cordelia. I mean, maybe I should build it a little bit different. But, man, I just, I don't know how we do this. I don't think you can win games. Um, So he's doing a Thunder Lance. Uh, not for a knockout just as right now. Unless he hits, oh, there's double lightning. So now he can take a knockout if he wants to. But if he doesn't take a knockout, I'm going to lie center side and, 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 you know, knock it out. Oh, no, nope. going to Dynamo. Please don't knock out my Nidal Queen. Don't do it. Oh, please don't knock out my Nidal Queen. Be nice. Play nice. Don't you don't you dare knock me out. No, he's going to rush and retreat to the Reiku and take a knockout here. All right, so we tried. We tried that game. We tried. Um, we'll, tr we'll play one more game with the deck here in a second. We did get a set up. But man, I do not think like this deck can win games. But uh, we'll send up the Nidal Queen. We have no Nidal King. We have no way to attack anymore. We deck out as well. I mean, I mean, we technically don't deck out because now we can Lily put that back in our deck. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we can do now. We don't deck out. Take that. But I mean, it's pretty much over. So we'll press done. He'll just stun lights for the knockout. That's pretty much the game there. I mean, that's the cool thing about Lily. You can constantly not deck out. I mean, that's a plus, right? So there's a stun lights. He's actually not going to knock us out. But you know what? Boop. There we go. All right, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Hopefully, 
It's a little bit better. I mean, I hope we play against a non-EX deck. That's the real thing. But we'll see one more game with the Cordelia, Nidda King, Nidda Queen deck. I mean, we need three energies, which we with turn one. I guess maybe we should put Shamans in here, but I mean... The deck's so tight already. It's so like it needs so much space. We'll see one game with the deck here in a second. Hopefully, this time around it actually wins the game. Alright. Alright, guys. So on game number two, we're playing a stream bomber, playing a looks like a mega Rayquaza deck. Like he's got the Rayquaza sleeves, the Rayquaza coin. He is like really excited that we lost the coin flip. Oh no. Alright, but <sighs> I mean Mega Rayquaza, uh, that's a pretty hard matchup. Alright, so. Would you like to take a mulligan? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a mulligan. Um, like we have a talent flame, but the, the start's not very good. So we're gonna shuffle the deck. I mean, that's a cool thing about talent flame. You can shuffle with it back in your deck and uh, try again. So yes, we'll press done. We'll get a new hand of seven. A take number two. All right. So is this hand any any better? Um. I don't think so. Um, would you like to take a mulligan? I'm going to say no, though. I'm going to say no, I don't want to take a mulligan. Uh, we just really need to hit it in right now. Like, we can get the Lilip in the discard pile with Ultra Ball. Grab a Jolteon so that we don't get, like, decked out or benched out. All right, so put Talonflame in the X spot. Okay. Um, hopefully we top deck an energy. No, an energy. We just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we need. All right, so draws a card, whatever. Uh, Pony's going to start the Pokemon. There's their Quaza. I called it. Called it. I'm psychic. Right here, I'm just like, so Hoopa, gonna get that turn one scoundering ring search for three EX Pokemon, and, like, already, you gotta think, like, we're in trouble. Like, how, how does a deck like this beat a Mega Quaza deck? I mean, the answer is, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love Fan Friday, but this, this deck is, like, I don't, I, I it's cute. Like, her daily is a lot of fun. We got five Pokemon out with it, but, I mean, it's not going to go very well it's not like it's going to go bad like it's going to go real bad here in a second like he's got double rayquaza and ultra ball discarding two water energies probably grab another like a hoopa or something or maybe just to make our quaza so yep there's a second hoopa coming down and like we're already in trouble so dc the actor hoopa like he is having the time of his life right now he's gonna get double make make out rayquaza and a shaman turn one and yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing right there. Like I don't. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So Mega Cross is the active. Mega Cross is at the bench. Uh, Shaman gonna set up four new cards. Okay. And uh, what does he find here? My phone's going crazy. All right. So Mega. Oh, there's a turn one Mega Turbo. Um. Yep. We're in trouble. We are in trouble, guys. And a Hacks Maniac. Yep. Yep. Alright. So, um, we'll train his mill. Grab an Ultra Ball. Yep, that's a card. Alright, we'll grab Ultra Ball. We'll Ultra Ball. Uh, discard one and two. Let's go many Nidal Queens on here. Okay, two Nidal Queens. Okay, so, uh -huh. Okay, okay. We'll grab Jolteon, so that way we don't lose next turn. Uh, we'll put down Jolteon, and we'll take more discard of two Nidal Queens. Okay, there's a Lysander, and Nidal King. Okay, so no uh, Lily Fossil, which is bad for us. Really bad. Really bad for us. Really bad. Real bad. All right, so um, we could go for an Aero Blitz for 40, which I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a decent active go for Aero Blitz, okay? And uh, with this we gotta grab um, A rainbow energy And a root fossil, okay, that's what we're gonna grab there All right, so own my opponent's turn. He can blow up our talent flame There's a spirit. We just gotta hope he doesn't hacks again. All right, all right, all right, good, 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 all right. So, we'll set up Jolteon. All right, so on our turn, we are going to Lysander the Hoopa, okay. We will Ultra Ball, discarding one and two. To grab another, well, we'll grab another, uh, Lilip, sure. 
We will put a Lilip in the bottom of our deck. Okay, we'll pre hit start call. We'll use the root fossil, put it back on. Uh, okay, all right, we'll put it back on the field. We'll put a rainbow energy to it. Pass. All right, so owned our opponent's turn. Okay, does he have a float stone? Or DC, either one could give him way to retreat this Rayquaza, I mean Hoopa, or an AZ. Um, if he, right now, he's not taking a knockout on Jolteon, he's only doing 150. So he's not taking a knockout yet on Jolteon, which is good for us. There's a, oh, a Floatstone, okay, uh, there's a Floatstone, never mind. Um, okay. Alright, we're trying, guys. We are trying here. We are going to try our best. We gotta hit a DCE next turn, and even then, like, we are in trouble... Like, I don't know. Yeah. 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 We're... Oh, my goodness. I mean, we got a turn to Lily. I mean, which is okay. We don't have a turn to Cordelli. So there's a, a Rayquaza coming up. Okay. A DC to the bench, Mega Rayquaza. And an Emerald Break, which doesn't knock us out. So that's a key thing to know. And there's Sycamore. All right. So I'm going to put down Cordelli. I am going to VF Seeker for Lysander. Bring on the other Hoopa. Pass. Yep, we'll pass. Okay. Does our opponent have another DC or another float stone in his hand? Or an AZ? Um, I'm hoping the answer is no. Open the answer is a good old no. Oh, there's... Oh, my every single time he's got the... Okay, so... Okay. All right, so there's an ammo break. Lovely. 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 Alright, so we'll send up the Cordilli. We don't have a choice, it's only Pokemon. Okay, there's a DCE. And... I don't even know. Like, we can Life Flows and get down two Nidda Kings. Or two Nidda Queens and a Nidda King. But I don't know what that really does. Um... We get Spiral Drain for 60, which then we just lose automatically. Oh, goodness. All right, so I, I think I am just going to second more, okay? We just got to hope we don't draw into a bunch of stuff that we need. That stuff we need, like one of those, like that Nidda Queen. All right, so I'm going to Lily put down the bottom of our deck. I am going to use the Fossil. Okay. All right. We will compress her. Uh, we're going to discard Tunnel Flame, Tunnel Flame, and another Compressor, okay. And we'll go for a Life Plosion, and with this, we're going to have a Nidoking Queen, and double Nidoking. King. Okay, so we don't, uh, so downfall of the deck right now is we don't have a Super Rod, um, and we're down two Nidoking Kings, okay. So that's not good. Um, if we, okay, there's one in our hand, what am I talking about? Alright, so Skyfall coming down, whatever, okay. Where's our in at? I should have I should have discarded in last turn. All right, so Lysander with a Jirachi. Oh, don't please don't knock out my Nidda Queen. Just let me have some fun, opponent. Don't you dare knock out my only attacker. Don't you do that. All right, so my only out to win now. Is to life center Hoopa and hope it stays forever. I mean, the, the likelihood that happened is zero. Um, but we're going to try our best. We're going to try right now. We're going to life center, bring up the Hoopa. We could spiral drain. Why not? Let's go for a spiral drain for 90 damage. Take that. All right. Does he have a fourth DC? He hasn't played any puzzles yet. Okay. There's a Trainer's Mail. Have we played all four Lysing or Via Seekers? No, we haven't. Oh, so Mega Turbo. I don't care about Mega Turbo. Do not care about Mega Turbo at all. Uh, it's an Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard two cards from his hand. Discards a Dragonite and a Giratina. Okay. There's a Keldeo. Oh, no. Don't you Keldeo me. All right, so Mega Evolve. Okay. Mega Turbo to the Mega Quaza. Okay. There's a course going to get like a billion cards. Okay. Oh man, guys, you got to think that that it, the the time is coming. It is coming soon. I think we're going to be in trouble. There's a compressor. Okay. I mean, we just got to hope 
He okay. There's a computer search. If he has a flowstone, it's pretty much game. Yep, guys. There we go. I tried my hardest. I mean, I guess the only thing I would change with this deck is probably put a super rod in there. But even then, like this deck is not good. Like I tried. I mean, I mean, I made the deck right. I, props for that. But I mean, it just doesn't work. You need so many energies for like life, like life closure. And all this other kind of stuff. We'll grab a VS Seeker. We're just gonna we're just gonna VS Seeker. Just pretend he doesn't have a float stone. Uh, so we're gonna license and bring out the Hoopa. Why not? Why not? Why not? I mean, he hasn't played any puzzles yet. I mean, I know he has a float stone on that on that kill deal, so he can just rush and retreat. But we're gonna pretend like he doesn't have one, and maybe. He'll just pass. Oh, no, we're going to rush in and retreat, and he'll take the game. And there we go. There's the Life Plosion, Nidoking King, Thank you, Bobber. It's just not that very good of a deck. I mean, on paper, it sounds cool, but, I mean, it just, just doesn't work. I mean, just, I don't I don't know. But, guys, here we go. I hope you enjoyed this fan Friday. I know it's just me just getting destroyed. Um, that's what happens if you play against a non, like, non, non competitive decks. Against competitive decks, you just, like, just lose and like it's always like these really cool ideas but they just don't really work looks like our opponent's deck does he play puzzles okay he does play an az um but two floodstones and um but no puzzles so hypothetically if <clears throat> yeah hypothetically if his az and I mean, there's no way. He had two prize cards left and a life centered again. I was going to say, maybe if he had his DC, Floodstone, and AZ prize, we could have hypothetically won by decking him out. But even then, uh, it just didn't work. All right, guys. But there you go. Hopefully, this episode of Fan Friday. I'm sorry. It's just me just getting destroyed. But hey, that is what happens, especially when you play a deck like Cordelli Life Lake. But still, it's a lot of fun. Let's look at the deck one more time. Could we have changed anything? I don't know. Uh, maybe not so many Skyfields. We probably could cut those instead of something else. Maybe not so many Nidoqueens for Super Rod. That's something we could do. On paper, it sounds really cool. But overall, in practice, it's not that good of a deck. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday. Tomorrow, we'll start the League Cup um, videos. Like It's going to be a week straight. A week straight and a day of just straight League Cups. So watch out for that. A lot of great games. It's been fun commentating them, and I'm still working on that um, right now, and it's going to be a little while before I get those done. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday. Alrighty, Bye. All right, guys. I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.